everybody how are you all guys doing hope everybody is all right because uh, i'm totally not fine uh, currently got sick but i don't know seven days ago and still not feeling so well but i decided to uh, make a quick benchmark video here as you can see uh, what settings we already have uh, i disabled dynamic resolution everything is set to max except mode and the rest of the settings here I just disabled the depth of field and other things that I don't like and chromatic aberration, I don't know who uses that, me personally not. But Nvidia Hairworks we can't use because uh, of course we don't have an Nvidia GPU, this is Intel Arc A770, so uh, that was disabled. But as you can saw, everything was set to Ultra, here I just set uh, 1440p resolution, versing on. First I tried with versing on, but then I saw that it was a limit of 60. FPS because of the refresh rate of the monitor. I don't know what happened here, but uh, yeah, I fixed it by turning off uh, the FPS limiter. You will see soon enough, so we can display the full performance how Witcher 3 actually runs. At first, I thought it was okay, but then uh, later, you know, I said about the V Sync on. Uh, uh, I saw the GPU usage right now, as you can see, it's what 76%. Uh, so I figured something must not be working that good. So uh, here I turn off the VSync, and as you can see, we now have a 77, 78 FPS, and the GPU usage is right about 99%, which is good. Uh, so let me just walk around here a bit to see how the performance holds up. See, it's over 60 FPS, 1440p ray tracing, max all the other settings to the ultra. I think the Intel GPU drivers are finally fixed for such games because this now it's using uh, DirectX 12. So I guess that's the reason that uh, also the game works a lot better because uh, Last time I uh, showed you a quick short video and it, the game barely holded like what 70 FPS without ray tracing and uh, yeah it was uh, I mean a playable experience but if you would have installed some mods for let's say better textures and stuff like that I think the graphic card back then would not hold it uh, I still have to try the DirectX 11 mode uh, because Intel also did some fixes at the driver level so uh, we'll check the new drivers out but let me quickly now uh, show you here let's quickly go to the options video graphics and uh, let's yeah, try anti-aliasing for a bit maybe TAU yeah let's try TAU for a bit uh, this maybe will have a bit of impact on performance but uh, I still haven't tested all the mod out That's because I was too busy also actually playing the game a bit I mean I had about uh, 200 hours on Witcher, it's not much, but uh, yeah, I still need to do Gwent and all the other side quests, but uh, yeah, we, uh, it, here, here it performs about 65 FPS, 64 with TAAU on, but uh, I think the more better option uh, in this game would be with ray tracing to go and use FSR, so Let's quickly change to that and see how that will perform. First we'll try obviously the quality mode, then we will see the rest how it will perform. As you can see, there was a nice boost. We already have about 95 FPS average here walking around. It's night time, I mean night time. Uh, I could maybe record this during the day and see if that maybe will have an impact on performance, but so far at night time with FSR quality mode, we can see we are getting about 90 fps average everything set to ultra and i think fsr looked quite good with the quality setting on but once i dropped it to uh, performance ultra performance then we see the degradation in quality that i personally don't like even though the fps was like 120 maybe if i would have uh, connected this to 4k screen i didn't have time so here we are right now just testing 1440p which i think right now in this time uh, it will it's the most uh, used uh, screen size i think people will start to upgrade from 1080p to 1440p but enough 
of my chatter, let me quickly here change back to balanced mode uh, because uh, let's, let's check how that one works. If it even works, let's see. Let's see. What was that all about, man? What was that crash? Uh, so yeah, I'm back in the game. Uh, let's. Oh, it's now it's set to balance. Okay, no worries. Now it works. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see how this performs, 9800 FPS, so yeah, let's call Roach, quickly hop on him to run around a bit and see if we drop FPS on balance mode, FSR, let's go, let's go, 95 FPS, it works really, it works really, really smooth as you can see on the frame tab graph, just this normal load uh, starters, but uh, what can you do? What the hell? Oh, I figured it out what is wrong. The balanced mode is somehow broken because uh, right now I switch to performance mode and you will see the game will work without a problem. Oh, yeah, if you noticed, uh, my system also glitched a bit. Uh, the Elgato capture card because the game crashed so hard it stopped recording sound. I'm not sure why that happened, so I will just do some commentary until we are over with uh, the video. But here, now it's daytime, I'm here in the village, in the city, we have performance mode now, as you can see, we had about 100 FPS, which I think it's good if you would play this I personally wouldn't because performance FSR it, it already degrades the quality at least for me because I'm also a bit you know blind I have glasses but okay that's uh, when I put on 4k glasses it's fine but if I watch without glasses I still see okay but it's a bit blurry and then once FSR also hits in it's a total blurry mess for me so I have to either use balanced all performance and use my glasses on or have it quality and I still see okay. Uh, and here, Chuf, let's run around a bit more. As you can see there, uh, Elgato crashed for a second again. I am not sure why the signal was lost, but uh, yeah. Let me just now quickly show you how also the ultra performance checks out. As you can see, the FPS is 115, 120 FPS. But uh, maybe on YouTube you won't see that much of a difference, but uh, when I was checking directly in front of my screen, like I said, the screen was really, really blurry and I just personally would rather lose like 20, 30 FPS and use FSR quality mode and have much better picture quality then have better FPS and yeah, worse picture quality. Let, but even uh, now, we already saw, I will just answer the question because I might use, <laughs> will A770 run Witcher 3 at Ray Tracing Mac without upscaling at 60 FPS? So uh, let me quickly answer the question, I mean, quickly, we are almost at the end of the video, <laughs> but yeah, let me click go here and disable graphics uh, FSR and put it back to off. So we have no upscaling at all, native 1440p resolution, max sitting with ray tracing on. And uh, yeah, let me just take a quick stroll around the city again. Look. Elgato, oh my god, I guess something is really broken with my Elgato capture card, or maybe it's the HDMI cable, or I really don't know what happened, I'm sorry for the cuts, but uh, yeah, as you can see in the city, we get around 70 FPS, maybe I hope to go to the other one, uh, so many cities to test out here, in Witcher 3, and maybe at the same time it would be a less FPS, but it, it's holding up, okay. We got around 70 FPS every 75. Don't mind the loading starters, as you can see, sometimes it drops to 50 for a second, but uh, that's probably the game issue. At, on NVIDIA, I tried 3090 and Witcher this uh, 3 next-gen update, and I constantly got some crashes. Not sure why. I think I also didn't have the latest driver, but uh, yeah, here I am using the latest driver on Interarch. I think Witcher 3 
uh, is working really good now with the latest drivers and uh, the perf update that had DirectX 12 there. But yeah, what do you think? Is uh, performance good for uh, what 400 euro graphic card? Or you think this could be better? You know, write down in the comments, make sure to subscribe and like and ring the notification bell if you want uh, to see new videos once they come up. I know they are not frequent, but I will try my best to keep on recording and making some videos for you guys. And in January, I think we won't have that much of work here. Uh, to do fixing computers and stuff so I might have some more time to record and make some proper videos for you guys until then or should I say until the next video peace out okay you saw uh, we extinguished the fire and we got like four or five FPS uh, I guess these shadows are really uh, demanding okay let's try one more before I go off extinguish this one Phew. look at this almost 10 FPS! <laughs> oh, taxing, taxing on the system. Okay, okay. Anyways, guys, enjoy. Have a good day. Be nice. Hope and see you next time.